Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, that last video went way, way too well. I'm in for it now. Although, look at that. I've got all these, like, I've got all these two cast two cards. Okay, I really don't have that, that many. Alright. It, it sort of looks like I have a lot of two cost stuff, but there's, there's one copy of each. Wrath and the Shuriken are great, but they're not really minions. The Fallen Sun Cleric is shitty unless I have another minion. Just like Geomancer and a Tortle and Forager. Excuse me. My only threes are two of these, which explains why I see it so often. And then the Shadow Blade. So, okay, yeah, I really... I am kind of doomed to slow starts from this deck. I should really be mulliganing just to try and get those uh, Jade Flowers. Because otherwise I am in trouble. So, now we know how this is going to go. the idea of having all this jade stuff going on. Do I try and hold out and just go like jade's... This is probably stupid tacular, but I'm going to try and just go with this. We're going to Druid Hunter. He's got the worst... Well, not really a worse hero power, because this one does affect the board and the Hunter one doesn't, but still, he's not like terrifying. Oh, that is awesome. I'm saving my coin, though, because I want to do one of these guys turn three. But now I can go turn two him, turn three her, and buff him if he's still alive, which would be great. I mean, he won't be now, but eh. Jade Idol, where were you first turn? That is stupid. Eh. It's fine, it's a free card, it's a free, fair, fairly large card, but it is a pretty meh, like, five plus attack creature. Yeah, you know, shuffle, shuffle a giant mini raptor into your deck. Um, if I do th see, I'm tempted to shuffle this because I got a bunch of jade in my hand, but I am not. I am going to deploy the one one because then I've got something to buff with her. to come from I can't kill that with the obsidian shard alone. It's like Oh wait, this is the turn I'm supposed to be doing this. Okay, never mind. Let's do that. Those are not urgent calls. I forgot where I was. This will get very cheap if I play these two cards though. Um okay. A 1-1 with no abilities. That's exactly what I would expect him to give you about half the time in the arena. Okay. He didn't kill my guys either, which is interesting, because now I could make him him a 3-4. Play him and just spawn more stuff, but... I like the idea of doing that. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not sure that actually does as much for me. They're going to get their asses kicked by those guys, though. Oh, man. Damn it. Stupid things. I'm sure that was a fairly dumb way to organize that turn. And no, no matter how I did it, wasn't going to work out the way I wanted it to. It, it was going to seem ineffective because I'd have so many options, but. You are determined to beat me in the face, which is really weird for a hunter who doesn't have the hunter hero power. Like, that seems odd to me, but okay. That bear is fairly large. So this plus my 3-3 three, three there would kill the bear and hurt a lot. Okay. 
If I could play two druid cards, I could get this in. Do I want to shuffle in more th more dudes? Like I want to play this guy, but if he doesn't get good, like what do you, what would he even get? It's not going to be good. I can I can play this for free if I play this and him, so I should do that. No, wait, he's not a druid card. I'm stupid. I at least stopped it in time. Okay, I could do four damage with this if I play it and then kung fu. And that means she could kill that and I could keep my 3 3 alive. So I'm going to do this. Do I shuffle or whatever? I've got 21 cards left. Uh, let's shuffle in the jade. I've got a bunch of jade going. Let's roll the gum. Oh, come on. Don't tie me out. What are you. What the crap? What the hell? There should have been tons of time there. It just wouldn't like highlight my thing. I couldn't go. Oh my god. It didn't even it didn't even give me the kung fu. This is a huge difference in what was happening because that bear would have been dead. My health total would be the same, but that bear would be dead and I would have a bunch more stuff. What the goddamn hell? That is Bullshit. Now, I'm just totally going to lose the game now. Like, I, my this guy was putting up a significant fight. It was going to be close. Now I'm just going to lose. And lose hard. What is going on? There's only a single adapt guy. I'm just going to get my ass kicked. What is this? That's so stupid. Just that amount. It... it no sign of disconnect, I'm sitting here with five bars on my Wi-Fi and all that stuff. Just that bit of cutting off ten seconds of my turn after I had decided what to do is sufficient to lose me the game. It's not that I would have won the game necessarily, I mean, we were having a game. It was going to be a tight game. But now it's not, now I'm just crushed because he's got an extra 4-6 bear alive and I have the same amount of hit points. Yeah, no, I've got nothing. Here we go. What a pile of crap. Like, the guy on the other side is just sitting there thinking that I'm an idiot. Because this is so stupid. No idea how this game would have gone, but it would have been very different when I had my 3-3 alive and his bear dead. And one extra hit point from like, the Kung Fu. But, uh, oh my, like, that bear was in the way, it wasn't just that he was doing more damage, it was also in the way of me doing other things, so I couldn't kill anything else with my, like, friggin' weapon. God damn it. Alright. and get in one more dual class run at least. Ooh, toxic arrow. We Yeah. And meanwhile, to fill the time. Make up for the ten seconds I got ripped off there. What the that's an interesting error. What what kind of game am I in? Okay. It it must have I don't know if it like treated that as a double click or something. I already had my deck made for this tavern brawl, obviously, but like it's actually not a bad starting hand. I it, is it just me? Did it not look to you like I just clicked on Tavern Brawl, never got to the screen where you click play, and then that thing just happened? Like that was confusing as. All right. In the Tavern Brawl, where all minions cost one and are one one, and even if you spawn stuff in other ways, they are also one one, which is not made clear in the description, but it's true. 
I'm going to go with Cthune. So Cthune starts as a 1-1, one, one, I assume. That's that's weird, because Cthune should be a base 1-1, one, one, and then should actually get the bonuses from this stuff, is how this should work. If it's actually starting at 6-6, six, six, that's pretty rough, considering that all minions in play are only going to have one hit point, so being able to wipe the board and go through to the, and damage through to the player is much easier. Um, are you going to end your turn, person who spent your one mana? I mean, I guess you could coin out a dude, but, like, why? Now I don't even know if this person is taking forever or if my client is, like, lagged out and just assuming they're taking forever. Right. Maybe a pod, that's pretty good. So I could play this guy, and I could do that trade and it would win, but then my opponent would just stab him, so instead, I'm going to stab you. Because I'd much rather whip him out if my opponent breaks this thing without wiping it, without wiping the murlocs. If I pop out three murlocs and then... I mean, Dr. Boom, that's pretty rough. Fan of knives. I too am a fan of knives. Do I use the betrayal to kill these guys? I mean, this is a lot of guys out to fan of knives. That'd be great. But I really like to have one or two murlocs left from this guy getting blown up. And then I can still stab one of those guys and then play but play him and have my guys be two two. Uh no, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to kill enough guy. Like there's always going to be one guy left alive to kill him. Although he's never going to last long anyway. But uh, no, let's let's just uh, do one damage, and then fan of knives. Doctor Boom, though, pretty strong in the format. Cinder Gozo would be pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to save my mana. I'm not going to do that one point of damage. So I got three Murlocs now. You could easily just phantomize me back or betrayal, whatever. You betrayed two one ones with no abilities. I'm not sure that's a wise decision long term, but you go. You do that. We're going to mimic pod. Oh my God, that is a lot of Thrustodons. Well, I wasn't going to play him, but now we're going to try and set up for some crazy Stormwind tech later. I mean, like he's just so easy to kill. There are, like, a third of the classes have an ability to just kill him, and it's always going to be worth it in this format. So i got to try and get, like, a good attack out of the swarm. Saving these guys. They're crazy stuff. They're also a great finisher. You can just pay two mana and do eight damage to your opponent. Hell yes. Okay, so you're stabbing, not breaking. Understandable. Oh, hey, it's Ragnaros. Well, you know what? That's that's gonna put me over the edge. We're gonna drop this. We're gonna play rag. Gonna hit you for one. And I'm now gonna play this guy because now, yes, he can just be stabbed easily, but he's now protecting Ragnaros from being stabbed easily. So my opponent's gonna have to do something to actually kill Ragnaros. And if the something is a board wipe, I'm probably going to get a shit ton of 1-1s one out of my guys. And of course now, I only need to do 8 more damage, and then I can just crack in her, crack in her skull open, basically. Okay, and then what? Fan of Knives? Giving me 6 Murlocs? <laughs> you don't want to get hit by Ragnaros again, that's for sure. Blade Fury! And give me 6 Murlocs. Nice! Okay, that's a little bit too much betrayal for me, even for my taste, but that's okay. Now, the funny thing is, I don't have room on the board to kill her, so I'm not going to give away that, I'm, that I've got a handful of Kraken. I don't want her to know that she's one Kraken away from death. Keep that information to myself, and you never know the situation could change. I could do something crazy and get out stuff that's got like six hit points, and I got to do this and then a crack until I kill it, whatever. Although I've got a handful of killing, like 
it would be difficult in this format to put out anything that I can't obliterate with two betrayals, two krakens, and dark iron light skulker. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Is it surrender time? You're thinking a lot. Thinking a lot like it's surrender time. But that would be sad, because then you wouldn't get to see Double Kraken. Double Kraken. The actual sequel to Double Dragon. Or you're just going to time out. My six Murlocs are too intimidating for you. Yeah, it's six times as many stats as you can get from playing one guy, generally. Leave opponent has time outified. Wow. That sucks, because I don't even get to double Kraken. Well, actually I do. Ah, I was making room so that one of the Krakens could do it. Now I'm like locked in like death mode. Okay. I was like really locked in that animation. All right. Well, that was successful because it means a lot less than the arena run, obviously. We're gonna do one more multi-class arena here, and then well, that's gonna be a few months, I'm sure, until the um, at least a month until the actual next expansion comes out. But the next expansion seems to be introducing a new solo mode. I mean, I, I'm not sure if it's as much like a new mode as it is just like a solo dungeon in a different format, but it's going to be interesting. Entering the catacombs. Uh, not next time. Next month. Show some love to the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.